Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie. I'm testing this out again. I posted a video a couple of days ago showing you how I use this and I didn't have a good experience with it. Let's just say that. And I'm so grateful for all of you in the comments. So many of you agreed with me that this didn't work for you, but a few of you gave me suggestions. So today I followed your suggestions and this is the final look that I got with the Tear Tear foundation. And I'm gonna wear this all day and I'm gonna do a final check-in for you. The application I have to tell you went so much better than the one that I did the other day. There is a learning curve with this foundation and I'm grateful for your tips. So I'm gonna show you how I applied this look, tell you the tips and tricks that I was told. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meekel. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist. I dip into fashion a little bit and I'm hoping to help you out, but honestly, you help me out too. I'm so lucky to have a wonderful group of women here and I'd love for you to join us. It's very supportive. Everybody is positive and I'm very grateful. I'd love for you to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos and let's get on with the video. So first I'm gonna prep my skin. I already did use a wipe. This is a Cetaphil wipe, but I'm not gonna go crazy with serums. I'm just gonna be very basic with this. I'm gonna use the Emberlease La Creme Concentrate. Hope that our light is good here. I already did my eye makeup because I really wanted this to be the focus and I didn't want my video to be too long. I think I'm gonna brighten the lights up just a little bit. Yeah, that's usually how it is. I'll let that sit in for a second. It is pouring outside. Lynn White, thank you Lynn for commenting. She said, I use my finger to dab what I want out of the container and put it on the area, my areas that I have sorry, that I can't read, that I like to have more coverage. Then I use a damp beauty blender to spread it. She also doesn't have a lot of texture under her eyes. I am gonna use it under my eyes again. A lot of people had issues with it, so this is why I feel it's really important for me to try this again. I don't wanna give any product a bad review. There are gonna be people that really enjoy this foundation. Belinda also said that it didn't work for her. Jody said that she's keeping it, but it didn't work for her either. Annette also, maybe it was just Lynn. Oh, it was, Lair DT. I think her name is Lair, Lar. She said, cushion foundations are not like traditional foundations. They are way more potent, which this one is. We could see that. And they're a bit of a learning curve. The pad you press in the product absorbs so much more than we think. Only one tiny light even press with the cushion is more than enough. Okay, so my moisturizer has had time to sit in, so I'm not gonna keep pressing it in. This is a sponge I used the other day. I might see if I can just dip off of here. Okay, so that's one press onto this pad right here that already had product. Let me test this out just with this very small amount. So apparently I had far too much product on the sponge. I'm gonna go here first. That's covering. Oh, by the way, I should tell you what color I am again. I'm using the color 23N. Okay, I think I need another dab. Again, I'm just gonna pull off of what's here and see what I can do. Oops, I got a little bit, it's uneven a little bit. Okay, that's looking much better. I think I'm ready to dab into this press. Small amount. This is where I really had a problem with it settling into my creases. I am so due for my Botox. I haven't had it because I had to do a nerve study. So I go in on Wednesday. I'm not used to having those lines there, but even still, like we saw with the other video, and if you haven't seen that video, you gotta go check it out. When I used the Mac Studio Fix Fluid Foundation, it didn't settle into those lines. So we'll see how that goes. I have to put my hair back. It's Sunday morning and I didn't plan on filming, but with everybody's comments, I just got so excited. I really wanna try this and I wanna love it. Oh, see, and I'm not doing it evenly. Because it wasn't even, I'm gonna make sure to press it here and get it all even. There, that's better. I'm also not used to using an applicator like this. I really do prefer using a brush. My nose was also a big problem. So I'll do half like this. I mean, that's pretty. Let's see how that sits. Let's go up under my eye a little bit. I'm gonna turn it around and use the other end. 
see if I have enough left on my sponge for this area. My eyes watering. This is definitely better than the way I applied it the other day, for sure. I'm really glad that I did this. Now I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty blender. Oh, no, Lynn suggested that I put it on with my finger. Oh, that's a lot. See, when you press in, that's a lot. Hold on. I just put that amount on this area <laughs> and I'm gonna dip in. It's probably the wrong way, but it's okay. I'm just gonna load my sponge like this instead. It's a lot safer doing it that way. This time I dipped into here. I should show you everything, sorry. And then I'm pushing it out again on this pad here. It looks much better doing it both ways. Let's get my vein. I just keep blending. I don't think I need to. I definitely have more coverage on this side. Let me just blend that out a little bit. Sorry, I'm very quiet, I'm concentrating. Did I go on here already? A little bit, eh? I'm gonna go in with the tip of my sponge, just a little tiny bit, and then go again, press it down on this side. Basically, this would be the same as putting stuff on the back of your hand, like a blush, you know how we do? That's not working. I have an IT Cosmetics dual-ended brush, so I dipped it in again, which I didn't show you. Bad YouTuber. <laughs> and then I'm going on here. Let's see if I can get some more coverage that way. Just layering it up a little bit. I'm feeling quite dark there today. I'm gonna put some Lumify in. Let's get a little bit brighter. While the Lumify is working, I'm gonna put something on my lips. I'm gonna use Wherever Walnut. And I really love this lipstick. This is Sigma, what's it called? It's written right on it, Infinity Point Lipstick. And this is in the color New Mod. It's so pretty. I find it very comfortable. I don't know how people put their lipstick on so sensual. That's not real. I'm like, now my lips feel better. And my eyes look whiter, yay. I'm gonna use the same brush technique for this eye. I feel like I need a little bit more. By the way, the eyeshadow that I have on today is by Palladio. I wanted to test that out again. I find it really pretty. I mean, I did have a little bit of shimmer land on my cheeks, but that can happen with Makeup by Mario. So if you're looking for a good, affordable eyeshadow palette, they're really nice. I'm gonna get in here as well. And right there. So using a bronzer that I know I love, I'm gonna use the House Labs number five. You see me use this all the time. And I'm gonna use a Sigma F30 Air. This will pick up the product and be nice and light so it won't disrupt the foundation. Just tap it on. That's going well. Oh, what a different video this is. Thank you, thank you for giving me those suggestions. See, this is what I like. I love having a community where you can tell me. I don't know it all, that's for sure. Now I'm gonna set it with my House Labs powder. I have one open, but I have a backup and I can't find the other one. I wonder where that went. Hmm. It looks so pretty when it's brand new. Oh, I got fingerprints on it already. <laughs> Using a refer number 18. Let's make sure it's all good. 
Just working that powder into the brush. Get in the creases. Wow, I love this powder. Has anyone tried this that doesn't like it? Because I don't know anyone. It just smooths everything out. Before I set that, let's take a look here. I am seeing that it's still settling in those creases, but to be fair, I haven't powdered yet. So I am gonna do a wear test. That's what I'm gonna do. I could just be really noticing my wrinkles right now. I just wanna touch that up a little bit. Let me set that now. How's it looking here? I'm gonna use the new formulation of the NARS blush, and this is called Armor. And I used this in a video before too, but I only used this once before. I wanna give it another go. I'm using the Sigma F12. It says it's for setting powder, but really it doesn't matter. You can use it for whatever you want. I do like this, this is pretty. I'm gonna bring a little bit on my forehead too. I'm noticing I want maybe a little bit more coverage here, so can it be built up? Let's try that. So I'm gonna go in one more, ever so slightly, one more time, and let's see. I didn't get much on there. Now I'm so cautious, I'm not getting anything. Try again. Boop. I'm gonna use a little highlighter today because I feel a little bit doll now. I picked this up during the sale. Everybody raves about it. I know I'm going to like this because I love Dior and I love Dior backstage. That's my favorite. I don't hear a lot of people talking about the backstage eyeshadows. I love them. They're not extremely pigmented, but they're elegant. Yeah. So the formulations in the backstage are very buildable. They're soft, gentle, and elegant. That's the best way I can describe it. Let me see. That is my style today. That's a bit bright and oh, the pink is nice too. I'm actually gonna just dip into the two of them. Nice and subtle. I'm gonna take what's left on my brush and put it down my nose a little bit. Bring some life back to it. I'm not a huge fan of a very shiny nose though. I don't want that much attention being brought there. Maybe a bit here. Little Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Why can't I get this open? What is happening? Oh, I broke it. Oh, I knew it was stuck though. I knew it would open more. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go edit this. It's 12.31 p.m. I'm gonna wear this all day and I will check back tonight. I am so tired. I can hardly see. I've been staring at the computer for so long, trying to get this video edited to get it up tomorrow. Yeah, I can hardly see. <laughs> this is reality. I don't even know if I can see the mirror. Let me put something on my lips because they are dry. Let me tell you what I've done today. I did a clothing try on video, so I got sweaty. It's always hot doing those videos. I really admire people that do that all the time. It's hard work. So it is 9.47. Let's take a look. I really am having a hard time focusing. It looks like I've been drinking. I haven't. How do my under eyes look? I'm a bit red in here, but again, I touch my face a lot, especially when I'm editing. When I'm thinking, it seems to be what I do. I feel like I'm red in here. And this is normal for me though. 
So do I have anything to complain about? This is about how good anything would look at the end of the day for me. I still feel like I have blush on. I wanna see what this would be like if I were to touch up with this, like at the end of the day. Okay, so same thing, not a lot. This is where I'm noticing it right in here. I should have done it before my lips. <laughs> I want to take an empty brush. This is the other side of the It Cosmetics brush. Now that I've touched this up, I'm just gonna go back in with my bronzer a little bit. So this is if I were going out after a day's work or something, or you know, went to a wedding and wanted to touch up for the party. This absolutely redeemed itself because of you. Thank you so much for your comments and your advice. It helped me so much and I hope with that it helps everybody else. All the products that I use today will be listed in the description box for you. They are affiliate links. If you use them, that helps me out so much. It does provide me with a small commission and if you don't, that's okay. I just appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching. Before you leave, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with all your friends. I'll see you later. Bye.